The first half at Shamrock Park was a forgettable affair with almost no goal-mouth action, but the second half had a much better start as Gary Hamilton set up Vinnie Arkins, but Portadown's ace marksman was denied by Cork keeper Michael Devine. Cork's reply came within moments as Devine launched a long clearance which was flicked onto Dennis Behan, and his snapshot was brilliantly turned away by Paul Murphy. But Cork's goal eventually arrived on 63 minutes. Being this time the provider as he played a terrific through ball for Kevin Doyle, who ran on and calmly slotted past Murphy in spite of the Portadown keeper getting his hand to the ball. It was a goal which might have finally burst the part-timers' balloon, but instead they moved up a gear and just over ten minutes later won two corners in a row. From the second, Gary Hamilton crossed and Darren Kelly got in front of his marker to head in the equaliser. A good goal for Portadown, but a disappointing one for the Cork defence to concede. Portadown grew in confidence after that, and substitute Paddy Kelly might have won the game if his turn and shoot effort had been a little lower. So it ended 1-1, with Portadown, Cork and Shelbourne all still in with a chance of reaching the final. And that is the spot. Don't expect any crowd attendance records to be broken just yet, but there was enough razzmatazz at Shamrock Park to suggest football's new cross-border competition has potential. It's a good start. I think it's about time that we started looking at cross-border stuff through sports. I mean, we, we had a big thing there, European Year for uh, for sports, you know, to bring friendship and all the rest. So anything that can help build bridges, I think, you know, it's a good thing. I'm very much in favour of it. Uh, uh, I'd like to wait and see how the competition develops before I would sort of uh, agree with an All-Ireland League. For us, it's like a trip. It's, it's, it's as interesting as the trips to Europe last summer with the Inchtota Cup. It's a bit of crack, really. We're used to travelling very short distances up here where... The Cork fans will be travelling maybe 300 miles sometimes. We'll be only travelling maybe 60 or 70 miles. The Cork players didn't seem to mind the journey last night. Kevin Doyle's second half goal had them on course for all three points. Until Darren Kelly paid a visit to the Cork penalty area. At the end of the day, it's sort of, you look at their come league and you look at the Irish, um, the Irish League. I think the Irish League's got a bit of a, bit of a slattern over the past while. Um, I think it's, it's something that sort of puts, puts on the table who's the best out of the lot. And after this draw, Porter Down are still in contention for those bragging rights. Austin O'Callaghan, 